Hello friends, welcome. Now in this video I'm going to show you what we are going to build in this course. So here I am in the Laravel project in the dashboard when we are logged in. So if I log out, let's go to the dashboard first and then we are going to show you the front end. We need to log in and if I go here, we have skills and the projects link here. Let's go to the skills. And as you can see, we have a table with all the skills we have created. We can edit and delete and also we can create a new skill. So let's say test, for example, choose the image, click open and click store. We have this skill created banner is going to disappear after three seconds. And as you can see, we have that skill here. We can edit. So let's say dot 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 click update. Also, we have this banner skill updated and we have updated that. We can delete. Are you sure? If I click cancel, nothing happened. If I click OK, it's going to delete that. We have skill deleted now with the red color and that is deleted. The same thing we have for projects. For projects, because the project is going to belong to the skill, I have displayed here the name and the name of the skill, the image, and edit and delete. And of course, when we create a new project, we have this uh, select to select all the skills because the project is belonging to the skill. Okay, so this is for the back end. Let's go now to the front end. And here we have the front end. We have the navigation here. And we have all the section and this navigation is going to point to the section we have. So this is the hero section. We have the image that you can add your own image. Uh, some text here, I built and design web interfaces. Also with some social links. Then we have the, I call this promote section. I have promoted my Udemy course and this get started button is going to point to that uh, course. Then we have the about me, the image and some term ipsum text work with me, which is going to point to the contact section. Then we have the skills section here. I have displayed all the skill icons. We have, we get this from the back end, from the skills we created on the back end. Then we have the portfolio section, my latest work, some lorem ipsum, and here we have uh, tabs, all the skills we display here, and as also the all tab, and by default, as you can see, this all is highlighted because we displayed all the projects. And we see, we saw on the back end, the project is going to belong to the skill, and also here, if I select a skill here, for example, Laravel, we filter them, we hide the others, and we show only the projects belong to the Laravel. As you can see, we have also here the Laravel and Laravel. So the card has the image, the skill name, and the project name, and also the project URL. And if we click here, it's going to send us to the URL we have. Okay, then we have the services section, four cards, a header here, and some Lorem Ipsum, so web development, web design, mobile apps, and SEO. You can add what you like. Then we have the contact me section, and here I, had, I have added the have a question, I am here to help you, and also email me at john.com, you can add your own. Also the current location and the form, the contact to send the mail. So let me open because I use mail trap and let's open the mail trap.io and we can send mail. So here, go to this project, let's delete 
all of them. And if I send a test, also just to show you, we have validation. Send the mail. Okay, thank you for contacting me. And it's going to hide that. And if we go that here, yeah, we have the mail. Okay. We can navigate through the navigation and on scroll we change that background button we see this is the secondary color and this is the primary color custom color we have created then we have this tail 100 and tail uh, 500 and when we scroll we give it a primary color now this has this section has the primary color this the tail secondary tail primary secondary and primary also we have a dark mode so let's change on the dark mode and we have something like this okay i hope you like it if you don't like the colors you can add your own now let's see also on the small break breakpoints how it's going to look. We are in the iPad iPad Air as you can see, and we have something like this. This is the for iPad. We have a scrollable here. Okay, and also if we go in the iPhone and we have something like this also scrollable here okay and that's it about the Laravel project now I have created the same thing, the same portfolio we have here with Blade and Alpine, also with uh, React. So if I come here, we are in the localhost 3000, and this is the React project. We have the same design, the same project, but this is with React, and we have consumed the software examples for the projects and for the uh, skills we get them from this project through the api so if i go here to the api slash skills we display all the skills the same thing for the projects and for the contact so we make a call and get the, all the skills from this project and also the projects from this laravel project okay we have the same design uh, just something different so if i click the about as you can see we have some scroll animation here of course we can uh, we have a validation and we can send a mail also from the react here thank you for contacting me we clear the form and yeah it's going to hide that and if I come here, we have a new one. Okay. Also, this is uh, responsive and on dark mode is the same as this one. We have the same. Next, I have created the same thing we have with React also with Vue.js. So here we have Vue.js. And let's go on the light mode or let's leave it on the dark mode show you all here and this is with uh, Vue.js and as you can see we have some uh, animation I use view use motion and let's filter them as you can see here we have some transition also when we load the section also we can send the mail from Vue.js, the same thing, the Vue.js is going to consume the API from the uh, Laravel project. 
And this is how it's going to what we are going to build with Laravel and Blade in this one, React in this one, and Vue.js in this one. On this course, we are going to build three portfolio projects. One is full stack, and the others are a single page project consuming the API from the first one. Okay, friends, I hope you enjoy and see you in the next course. All the best.